friends welcome to our channel sita today we are going to talk about clause and its types in our previous lesson we have explained in detail phrases and its various kinds in this lesson we will know that what is a clause and its types clause is mainly divided into two types that is independent clause and dependent clause while dependent clause is further divided into three kinds that is noun clause adjective clause and adverb clause independent clause is itself complete one and also known as a simple sentence so it cannot be divided any further while independent clause is also known as main clause and dependent clause is also called subordinate clause now let's see what is a clause but before going to take an initiative this is me and my introduction now let's see what is a clause it is a group of related words containing a subject and a predicate for example he smiled he refused to do his homework because he had said she drank the milk which you brought yesterday all of these are known as clause this one is simplest is known as main clause and these two are known as subordinate or dependent clause what types of subordinate clause are these one after listening to this lesson you will be capable to recognize them therefore i request you to watch the video till the end if you want to learn it completely a clause has a subject verb combination and it has a complete noun by itself and a clause has both subject and predicate and it must be within a sentence or it itself is an independent sentence If you have not watched our previous lesson on phrase you can check the link in the description or from this i button so you can also watch that video I saw a girl with blue eyes now here the part of the above sentence i saw a girl is a clause this part is known as a clause and this part is known as a phrase so here it has a subject i here and a predicate so a girl on the other hand the rest part of the above sentence with new eyes lacks both subject and predicate that is verb such group of words is called a phrase a clause may stand as a simple sentence or may join another clause to make a sentence and therefore a clause consists of two or more clauses now how many clauses these sentences have you have to recognize them by yourself he is walking the kids were enjoying the jokes the principal asked a question but no one answered i am happy because i won a prize i like mathematics but my brother likes biology because he wants to become a doctor now let's observe how many classes these sentences have think please so these are the right answer you can pause the video to observe it completely 
types of clauses. As I already told that clause is mainly divided into dependent and independent clause. So there are two types of clauses that is main or independent clause and subordinate or dependent clause. For example, he is buying a shirt which looks very nice. Here, he is buying a shirt which looks very nice both of clauses. But what types of clauses are these? Let's explain it. Independent clause. He is buying a shirt expresses a complete thought and can alone stand as a sentence. Therefore, such a clause is called main or dependent clause. On the other hand, the clause which looks very nice does not express a complete thought and cannot stand as a sentence. So it depends on another that is main clause to express complete idea. Such a clause is called subordinate or dependent clause. Now let's explain main clause into detail. Main or independent clause is a clause that expresses a complete thought and can stand as a sentence. For example, I met the boy who helped me. She is wearing a shirt which looks nice. The teacher asked a question but no one answered. Let's find the main clause over here. I am giving you few seconds to recognize it. So here, I made the point is the main clause. She is wearing a shirt is also known as independent clause. And the teacher asked a question. All of these highlighted parts shows main clause because it expresses complete thought and can stand as a sentence that is why a main or independent clause is normally referred as a simple sentence. So all of these are providing complete thought. So these are also known as simple sentences. Another type is subordinate or dependent clause. Subordinate or dependent clause is a clause which does not express a complete thought and depends on another that is main clause to express complete thought. For example, he likes Indian rice which tastes good. Now here, the clause which tastes good in the above sentence is a subordinate clause. Because it does not express complete thought and cannot stand as a sentence. However, it depends on the main clause that is he likes Indian right to express complete thought. Therefore, which test good is known as dependent clause because it depends on the first part of the sentence. Let's observe some more example over it. I met the boy who had helped me. I bought a table that cost hundred dollars. He takes medicine because he suffers from fever. The teacher asked a question but no one answered. Here the highlighted parts are incomplete sentences. Because all of these depends on the first part of the sentence. These highlighted parts themselves cannot provide or express a complete thought. And all of these are dependent on the first part of the sentence. Therefore, these are known as subordinate or dependent or incomplete sentences. Please note that a sentence having a subordinate or dependent clause ought to have a 
main tools. Now types of subordinate or dependent class. We have already talked that subordinate or dependent class are divided into noun class, adverb class and adjective class. A subordinate that is dependent class may function as a noun, an adjective or an adverb in a sentence. So, on the basis of their functions in a sentence, dependent clauses can be divided into the following three types. That is non adjective and adverb clauses. Now, in order to know about these classes, please refer to our next video. It will be explained one by one in our next video. So kindly watch our next video.